a quick update. First of all, I replaced the batteries in the door, so it's working again. Crazy dang door. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the Wild Huckleberry. As you can see, can you see that on my porch right there, all that water? We got a little rain last night. It's pretty sunny at the moment. Now there's a good bit of cloud cover over here. But at the same time, that ball of fire is shining through it. And there's blue sky back here to the west. So, you know, we, we survived. I don't think it... Uh, they were talking about storms a whole lot. But I think what we got was just some really, really hard rain. Of course, I will admit, when you have a metal roof, that rain seems even harder because it comes down pretty loud. <clears throat> so anyway, I'm uh, headed out to feed and dropping off the, I, I like to fill a water jug. Uh, it's easier to give the, wa the rabbits their water like that. And then I've got a couple of things. You can see my treats. These are the treats that I give the dogs uh, in the mornings. And then I've got a little something. It was needed to be cooked up and taken away and given to the dogs. So I'm going to give it to Thor this morning. But anywho, it's just going to be a pretty day today, I do believe. I think we finally gotten out of the rain. It rained starting Sunday night and... It just drizzled off and on yesterday and all. And, uh, but then last night, like I said, it got a little crazy. Ooh, sorry, switching hands. And it got a little bit crazy. So it's what we needed, though. We needed some rain on our plants and all. Sonia, Sonia's planted. Now, that one looks like it's suffering a little bit. But she planted some more. She had three... Well, now I'm confused too because she's had three blueberry bushes here. She said she had two more, but I only see one more she planted. So I'm a little bit confused, but I think, well, she said she was going to plant one right there, but I don't know that that's a blueberry bush, but maybe it is. Maybe I'm wrong. But anyway, she planted some new stuff, and now that's getting rain. My, my sunflowers are getting rain. That's a good thing. I'm excited about that. And the goats are screaming at me. And I see that Lee left one of the scoops up here last night. So, of course, it's full of water. Well, not full of water, but it's got water in it. So, anyway, I'm going to set that down. The chickens are now joining me. They're ready for their treats, too. They're coming from all over. Oh, Thor's fussing at the cows, as usual. He can't help himself. He's got to fuss at them. Oh, and now Farkas is up here. I feel like he will give us a little crow if we wait just a second. You going to talk to us, Farkas? You're up there. I figured you're going to talk to us. Come on, Farkas. You're always being loud in my videos, Bubba. Nope, he's gonna deny me just because I wanted to get him on on film crowing. All right, well, say good morning to Natasha. Good morning, baby. Here comes Clint. They're wanting their treats. So I'm gonna make them happy, make the goats happy. And, uh, I'll give you a little update on, on the chicken coop when I get done here. Luna, leave Clint alone. He's okay. All right. So a quick update. First of all, I replaced the batteries in the door. So it's working again. Crazy dang door. And now, let me see if I can open this thing up. And show you Whoop, we have some eggs in here look at that but 
there's the coffee on there you can still see it's darker and I will say that what this smells like right now it smells like coffee grounds it does not smell like chicken poo or anything and the chicken still lay on top of it but uh, I think it makes a pretty soft bed down there that they can lay on and uh, it seems to be doing a pretty good job I kind of like it so far the flies don't seem as bad in here either they're here they're in here you can see some flying in front right now but it's not quite as bad so there you go I think I'm liking it so far all right guys gonna show you what I have bought for the cows this just a fly fly assault it's some fly control for, with salt I'm hoping that it will help the cows out this is made uh, from what I can tell with Redmond salt which not a sponsor but wouldn't mind it <laughs> but I'm gonna put this block out here and I bought this to put it out there with and uh, it says zero animal handling stress so I don't have to worry about it so I'm going to give it a shot and see if it helps them any if they like it and uh, I'll show you guys putting it out there and then I'll keep an update for you to show you uh, how it works if it works okay I put the salt block out and uh, <laughs> well so far butthead thinks it tastes pretty good he, he was licking on it Natasha was over here when I put it out, but she has decided to uh, go back over and get cubes. She didn't try it yet, but I left it up here on top of the hill just a little bit. It doesn't have to be far away. I put the, the mineral bucket, the lick tub, way up there on top of the hill, but it's empty now. So I got to go get that because Sonia wants to plant something in it. So I'm going to... Uh, Leave this here and see what the cows think of it. Oh, as this girl decides to push between me and my four-wheeler. Hi, pretty girl. For a certain reason. Oh, girl, I don't know why you jump. You, I petted you so many times. Petted. Huh? So, anyway. So, the last thing before I end this video is I'm going to put in here at the end of it some uh, uh, video that Sonia did of making a, a tea so I thought you guys might be interested in that she's been fermenting she's learning to do some fermenting and all so she decided to try this so if you're interested in it take a look and uh, hope you enjoy it all right so I am going to make um some honey fermented lemon ginger tea so I got to shave these little babies I've seen some stuff on TikTok on how you sh clean these things off easily I don't remember where I saw it I don't remember what it was so I got my different little um, Peelers, there we go. Peelers right here. Try and figure out which one works best for the ginger. So that's what I'm gonna try and do here. And shave this off really thin. I found some stuff, I don't know, it's like a honey citron ginger tea, you know, and you let it ferment in the honey. Where's my honey? I forgot my honey. Here's my honey. So I will put the honey and the thinly sliced lemons and the shredded ginger pieces into this big old jar and, then, and cover it layer it honey layer honey layer honey and just cover it up really good so um, let me go wash my lemons real quick okay so I found this one and it's peeling it pretty nicely so I'm happy with that um, not that big a problem okay also didn't realize how dark it was in here so it's fixing to rain well it's raining outside right now <laughs> I 
And once I get through peeling this rascal, I'm going to shave it up real good. Big traces are pretty good to clean up, so. Lots of little nooks and crannies. Yeah, I need a knife. Yeah. I'm a knife now. And I've um, sharpened these all recently. So I gotta be careful. I love the smell of ginger. It smells so good. I used to think it was too spicy, you know? I didn't like the taste of ginger. I liked the smell of it, didn't like the taste of it. It was just too bright a taste for me. And then I got COVID and oh my gosh, I love ginger. It tastes awesome. Yay for that, because I know ginger's good for me. <laughs> I know. Weird things that people get from COVID. Alright. I'm going to peel these real quick and I'll come back. Okay. So I got my ginger peeled. And I got them in there now. And I got my little slicer here ready. I cleaned up my jar. But also, because I do this with my kombucha when I get these big, um, well, my other jars that I do my kombucha in, but I get these big jars with the lid and everything. But when I get through cleaning it out, I always pour a little bit of white vinegar in there and close the lid and switch it around real good. That way, if there's any other little impurities or something in there, it just kind of stops the growth of it. So, I just pour it out. And plus, <clears throat> I wash it, and our water here is chlorinated, and that's not good for anything you're going to ferment. Um, so, I also wash it out with the vinegar to uh, get rid of the chlorine that's in there. Because I can't stand chlorine water. Ugh. Okay, so set that back over here. And um, I think I'm just gonna see how these slice. Oh yeah, that'll be perfect. See how it's slicing the little bitty slices right there? That, that's perfect for what I want. Make little julienne pieces, but at all. I'll have to cut that up a little bit smaller. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, now I'll come back when I get through doing this real quick. Okay, so I just remembered I had this. My mother-in-law will be proud of me because I'm using this. Put my ginger in there to then, oops, forgot to tighten that down. And just right over there. And grate my ginger. other little pieces in there. Now I'll come back when I'm finished. Okay, so I got the ginger cut up. Now I'm just doing the lemons. Side over here. 
and the fermentation process is going to happen because of the water that goes into this honey over here because um, if you don't get if you don't uh, harvest the honey when it's a brown color you know when it's a good color um, the it can have too much liquid in the honey and that'll cause the honey to ferment. All right, so I'm gonna finish doing these lemons and I'll be right back. Okay, let's see how messy I can be. <laughs> let's see how this works. All right, so I'll put a little bit of lemon, a little bit of ginger, or some honey. Oops, that one's that one. Right. A little bit of ginger, a little bit of honey. And pour some more. And the sunny is thick right now, but as it ferments, it's going to take the moisture out of the ginger and the honey. So it's going to be more of a liquid. Smaller handfuls. And I like the wide mouth jar here because my hand can go down in there. <laughs> like I might actually fill this whole jar up. I want two quarts of this honey, so I may need the other quart. I really think I am. But we'll see. I have to cover all this. Hello. Trying to escape. <laughs> All right. Wow. I really am going to use this whole jar. I didn't think I would. I'm glad I bought two. Okay. I'm going to let it sit like that for a second. I'm going to get the other drawer. I found one I had already opened, so I'm going to use that little baby. Sit upside down right there. Nope. Okay, hands are wet. Ah. Okay, paper towel. I'll use paper towel. E ah. Look at there. <laughs> I have muscles. Okay. Now, as this sits, and ferments. I got this little rubber lid on there. You're going to have to burp it or everything explodes in my pantry and that will be a mess. I don't want that. So I'm gonna go in there every day for the first few weeks and burp it. I'm gonna get something to kind of pack this stuff down in there. Uh, what do I do? Look what I found. I forgot I had this. So it, you can use this for doing sauerkraut. And you want to press it down in the jar. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, look at all that juice already in there. I 
I think it really tastes good. Oh my gosh. Yo. I'm gonna use this to make tea. <laughs> it's so good. I'm making a mess. Okay, I'll put it right there. I'm gonna go wash my hands. Okay, I'll stop licking my fingers now. All right. So, you'll see right here at the bottom, it's already um, room down there. So this is gonna be okay. It's gonna settle and fill up this, this bottom part of the jar down here. And um, so it should be okay. And I got room up here. So let me also make sure I have a clean lid. I'm going to close it and let it sit for ah, several weeks to let it ferment. But if it does like my um, fermented garlic that I put in honey, um, just depends on how much fermentation I want to do. I can do two weeks on this or I can do six weeks. It just depends on open it up after two weeks, check the flavor, see if you like it. If you don't like it, you want a little bit more, put it in there for another week. Open it back up, check it out in three weeks. So you can just kind of fine tune it for yourself and figure out what you like best. And then you'll know what kind of taste you want it to have. And it works out. So, um, we'll see how this goes. Now, another good thing to do is to date your jar okay put a date on there i got some painters tape somewhere what do i do with it i bet my grandkids got it and played with it they like to get it and tape everything <laughs> so i'll find my painters tape in a little bit and put the date up here so I know when I started so I don't lose track of time because you know we all get busy we lose track of time and this is it so in a couple of weeks I'll um, show you how it's going or you know if, if things start happening really quickly I may just take a little video of it and let you see how it progresses in the first week so we'll come back to that